Welcome to lesson number eight in the series Hammond Organ for Beginners. In this lesson, similar to the last lesson, I will be discussing chord formations using major scales as a source. To make a C major triad, you take the first, third and fifth notes. To make a C minor triad, you take the first, the flattened third and the fifth note of a major scale. To flatten a note, you lower it by a semitone. So in this case, it's E natural down to E flat. You can now hear the difference between a major and a minor chord going from the major to the minor, pretty much like the soundtrack to the film 2001. Generally speaking, major chords are happy and minor chords are sad. Once you can play these chords, you must practice them in broken format, as detailed in the earlier lessons. Here I'm showing how to make a C minor sixth chord. In exactly the same way as making a C sixth chord, you add the sixth note of the major scale, but in this case you have a flattened third, so the chord becomes C minor sixth. Once you understand how to plot these chords, practice playing them in the inversions. First inversion, second inversion, and of course the root position. This is most important because as an organ player or a piano player, you need to know where these chords are going to fall anywhere on the keyboard. In the same way as in the last lesson, to get the major seventh chord, Play the 7th note of the major scale, but this time use the flattened 3rd with it. This is C minor major 7th. A very interesting chord, very good for creating a mood. And again, practice it so you can play the inversions. Here we have the minor 7th, the dominant 7th minor chord. Exactly the same way as with the previous lesson. Play the 1st, 3rd and 5th note and add a flattened 7th to it. But in this case, to make it a minor seventh, it must have a flattened third. And as always, play the chords in a broken style and get used to the inversions. Thanks for watching, I hope it's been of some use to you.